kinematics of motion problems using calculus. These will include displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Calculus allows studying motion when displacement, velocity, and acceleration have a dependency on time. This is especially important when acceleration is not a constant, as it is often assumed to be in physics where there is no access to calculus. Before using calculus, let's review. A derivative of a function gives the rate of change or the slope of the tangent line. An integral is used to find antiderivatives. And the physical meaning is the area under the curve or an accumulation. This x of t is used for displacement, a vector. Displacement is a change in position. V of t is used for velocity, also a vector. Velocity is a change of displacement over time. Calculus allows finding the instantaneous change in displacement at a given time by taking the derivative of the displacement with respect to time. V of t equals dx of t dt. Example, a small object is blown by the wind. Its displacement is observed to be x of t equals t squared. What is the velocity of the object at t equals three seconds if the displacement is in centimeters? The displacement when t equals three seconds is x of three, or three squared equals nine centimeters. It is important that we understand displacement is in centimeters, not seconds squared. The instantaneous velocity at a given time is given by v of t, and it's the first time derivative of the displacement with respect to t. In this case, dt squared dt, which equals 2t. The dependency of the velocity on t is 2t, which gives the velocity at time 2 seconds to be 4 centimeters per second. Acceleration a of t is used for acceleration, also a vector. Acceleration is the change of velocity over time. A of t is the first sum derivative of velocity. Example, if the displacement is given by t over 3, the cube root of t, t, bond of velocity and acceleration. V of t is the first sum derivative of t over 3, the first sum derivative of the cube root of t, the first sum derivative of t, which is one third. 1 over 3, the cube root of t squared, 1. Example, given an acceleration is known to be a of t equals t squared minus sine t, 
when v of zero equals two and x of zero equals zero on v of t and x of t. V of t is the integral of a of t dt equals the integral of t squared minus sine t dt. V of t equals t cubed over three plus cosine t plus c one. When t equals zero, the velocity is two. So two equals zero plus one plus c one. So c one equals one v of t equals t cubed over three plus cosine t plus one 